Hello and welcome back to another video. So this is part 13 of this web series. So we're going to carry on just finishing off the footer and getting everything in position ready to add in, in the main content. So if we just go to the source view. So the way we're going to get this to move over to the right hand side is we're going to uh, target this footer logo div because it surrounds both the h1 and the p tag. So if we go back to the style sheet, we've already created one of these up here called logo. So if we, again, if we copy that bring that all the way down to the bottom and if we just paste it above the footer logo h1 and we change this to footer logo we want to change the actual float instead of left to the right so if we just preview that in the master page as you can see now that's now been floated over to the right hand side so if we just preview this in a web page so if we just come down the page so it's actually getting there now we just need to sort out some of the spacing so the first thing we need to do is tell the copyright notice here to move down so if we just minimize this and do stop debugging so if we just go to the source code we want to be targeting this class of copyright here so it basically brings it down so we need to find that in the style sheet which is here so the footer right that has a p tag that has a class of copyright we're going to say margin top of about 20 pixels so if you go back to the master page and preview that you can now see that's been kicked down by 20 pixels so what we need to do now we need to move the your website logo here over to the right hand side but if you look here this h1 uh, is actually going all the way across here so we need to give this a width and then we just need to float it so if we go back to the style sheet if we come down to the footer logo h1 and we just want to say width 168 pixels that's how uh, wide the, the image is if we just save that and preview that you can now see that the uh, image is now only coming to here which gives us this space now to float it so again, if we come over here and we say float and we say to the right and then we preview that, now see that's now moved over so we just need to affect the uh, p tag here so if we come back and again we're going to give this a width of say 100 pixels and again if we say float to the right and we go back to the master page as you can see that's now moved it in but we just need to make it a bit wider so we'll say 130 and there you go that's now in position so if we just preview that in a browser okay so if we just come down the page and as you can see now that's now sitting in position with the logo the slogan the copyright notice here as well and we have the navigation or items in position so we're coming along quite nicely with this now the final thing I just want to do before I go is sort out this spacing here and then we're pretty much ready to be adding in the content in the middle. Uh, what I will do towards the end probably uh, if people want to see it is how to actually add a live Twitter feed into this box here. So if we just go back to the page here if we just do stop debugging and just close this window here. Like I said the final thing I want to do is sort out this spacing here. So all we have to do to sort out this spacing so it's the same all the way around is if we go to the style sheet and if we come here to the main content border and at the moment it's set to a fixed height of 550 pixels. Now we're going to change that to auto so it ex expands and contracts uh, with the content inside of it. Go back to the master page and as you can see now that has now became, become the same as the, the rest of it. So if we preview that in the browser one more time. So if we just come down the page, you can now see that's perfectly 15 pixels all the way around the whole document. And it's starting to look quite nice now. We've got the footer in, in position. Uh, we've got the logo up here in the top and the navigation set up. Like I said, the next videos will be adding in this main content and sorting out the uh, login controls on the database side of it all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.